atheists persuade Puerto Rico educators to end mandatory school prayers. In San Juan, Puerto Rico, um, the Freedom from Religion Foundation and Humanistas Seculares de Puerto Rico teamed up to represent the Doe family, as in their name is protected, um, whose children attend a public school in a suburb outside of San Juan. The family matriarch, identified only as Doe 1 in court documents, did not want her minor children taught religious precepts outside, alongside grammar and arithmetic. The school's prayer event frequently lasted around 50 minutes. The teachers refused to accommodate the family, and the children experienced bullying and, from classmates as well as a retaliation from staff and teachers. The family eventually filed a suit against the principal of the school and the secretary of the Department of Education. After mediation, the school said that they would permanently prohibit school-led prayers and conduct a training for all employees of the school regarding their constitutional obligations. Thank Yay. you. Yay! That comes a lot. That means a lot coming from a Dominican. <laughs> yeah. um, so is that okay. Shirley, who's the uh, the one who was one of the people from? I want to shout out to her if that is Shirley in Puerto Rico. She, uh, woman, uh, I know this woman is from Humanista, Puerto Rico, and her name is Shirley. And if that is part of her doing, I met her at Freedom from Religion Foundation. I want to shout out to her. Yay! So I think you're talking about Shirley Rivera. It, to my knowledge, I don't know if she was associated with this, but I do really like her. Um, so yeah, this is a really big deal because, um, the school was a public school and they were operating off of the assumption that all of their students were Christian, probably Catholic. And um, they were, um, <laughs> this comment by Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Inferno is saying, Armin, come back to Islam, leave this white woman. <laughs> I'm not white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little white hoary. No, um, <laughs> um, so okay. anyways, um, they were basically conducting, um, services and education in this public school, this public school, as if all the other students were religious to avoid this. One of the things the family tried to do is they would try to drop their children off late when they knew that there would be over 50 minute prayer sessions at a public school. And, um, and in turn, the school started to um, punish them for being late. And they would also make them do activities having to do with Christmas and the nativity, stuff like that, um, and variety of other things. So this is a really big deal because this now is um, uh, affecting the, the, the Department of Education itself they all have to go through training now. They all are being held to the standard of being better. Um, this is also a massive success on the part of the Freedom of Religious Foundation, Freedom From Religion Foundation. The Freedom From Religion Foundation is one of the preeminent organizations in the United States and now Puerto Rico, which is a territory of the United States, um, for fighting the encroachment of religion and demanding to maintain the separation of church and state. Um, they, I mean, they're incredible. Their, uh, their team of lawyers is incredible. And um, it, it is an organization that is so important to support. It is so important to support the Freedom From Religion Foundation because they fight so hard in this country. So um, as a card-carrying member of the Freedom From Religion Foundation, um, I um, really want to say how we really need organizations like this because it's not just that they're secular organization like a lot of others, but they have 11 lawyers and they may have even hired more. And they are continually in every state in the country and territories always helping people, sending cease and desist letters to school boards after school board after school board to counties. We even had it happen where I live two different times with Christmas nativity displays. They are a very much, some people find them a little bit more boring because 
what they're doing is the real meat and potatoes of secularism of making sure we maintain that wall it's not necessarily as firebrand as some of other organizations but it is so necessary it's really the glue that's holding it all together and i would encourage everyone i'm going to give a shout out for encourage everybody give you know it's 40 dollars i think is the yearly membership and also freedom from religion foundation has um a uh secular uh not i want to say non-belief relief is that them or is that cfi i'm getting them all confused non-belief relief is the freedom from religion foundation okay, however it's yeah. not operating right now right but they have done that in the past is what i wanted to say they have Definitely. So they do that as well. They also do the um, radio show. So they, they're a really fantastic organization that a lot of people don't know are constantly helping and working for uh, the maintenance of a secular state and uh, maintaining the wall of separation. So Rivka, can you answer Ethan's uh, um, question here? I'm not sure exactly what. Well, well, let's read. Let, okay, okay, wait, wait. We have to read it. Okay, the, 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 he's asking: Do they differentiate between religion and spirituality? Um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Do you mean in terms of in a public space like a school or a courthouse? I don't really know. I mean, I, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. I guess you'd have to define the terms. But in terms of what I do know that they do is when people have display overt displays of religion. So prayer in school, um, nativity scenes, uh, crosses, uh, in God we trust on police cars, things like that. They are continuously out there helping people and their lawyers are all over the United States and most of the time without having to go to court, just sending cease and desist letters, but they've won some really good victories for um, the cause of secularism, but recently lost the crosses in um, Missouri. The Supreme Court said that they were crosses were a secular cultural institution you remember that world war one monument of crosses the supreme court recently that was a few months ago but okay. i don't too know much de too much detail Rivka. too much detail okay. i don't know mm -hmm. ethan i guess okay, is okay. the answer chris is saying ff fffrf helped me okay Rivka, you need to go be more concise with your explanations but thank you <laughs> fffrf is saying uh, no chris is saying fffrf helped me get Governor Ricketts in Nebraska to take the full size nativity off the governor's mansion. Wow, Chris has been like underground activism, Chris. Great job, but Chris, not just FFRF, but for Chris to initiate that. Um, yes, somebody else was saying spirituality is nonsense, but depends again, guys, it really depends on how you define spirituality. Like, you guys could also, like, here's like, for example, in this book. Waking up a guy to spirituality with that religion. I actually don't agree with this book. Like, I mean, it's, it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, but for pe but the spirituality that is defined in this book is different from what other people have said. I mean, but anyway, Ethan is saying to say God, uh, for instance, would be uh, spiritual, but religion religion would would have to do with specific. Uh, religions and, and their beliefs. Again, I, actually, I don't think that's the definition of spiritual. Spiritual has very different meanings, but we do need to hold on. Let me do one more member comment. You guys should get ideas for Sexy Kelly from uh, okay, I'm going to write that down. But guys, but the comments should be, I'm really biased about this comment, but the comments usually has to be about but the news that we're covering right now. Okay, how? Okay, cool. I'm gonna Did you see how you praise me one minute and then the next minute you're telling me I'm talking too much and giving too much information? <laughs> I'm just that, He's so that is my inter-anti-Semitic 
um, tendencies, just like I'm trying to mask it. I'm trying to mask it, but it's just so strong that it just like it just has to show itself one way or another. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, yeah, I'll, I'm bringing I'll try. you up at the meeting next month, brother. <laughs> right, so. People who don't know no. Matt better, he's joking. If you're no, R- R- Rivka has a so lot of good. Info- okay, Rivka. <laughs> Rivka has so many good information that we could just basically do an entire show on each one of these segments just with Rivka talking. But um, so yeah, but I, you have a lot of good comments, but you have a lot of good comments. So that's not that's, all right. Um, no, but honestly, this show would, wouldn't be the same without Rivka. Like uh, I love her. Yeah, as, and not just actually not just her insight but also her jokes okay so anyways thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell (laughs) and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 